Hello and welcome to the second part of this instruction series on Energym. Today we are going to discuss the basic usage of Energym. We will do this by implementing a simple controller for one of the models in Energym and then show how to interact with this model, get forecasts, get KPIs and plot some results. For this we are going to use the simple house rat model. This is a single zone, single input, modelica based model. And we will use a Jupyter Notebook for the demonstrations. As a first step, we need to import Energym. And then we can create the simulation environment by using the Energym make command and specifying the name of the model. So here, simple house red v0. Next, we define the simple controller. Here a proportional control with just two parameters, the proportional gain, kp, and the errorless control output, u0. To run the model in closed loop, we need to specify a few more options. The first is the number of steps we want to make. Since the model has an internal time step of five minutes, so 12 steps per hour, we use 12 times 24 times 7 to simulate one week. As a set point, we choose 293.15. The temperature units for this model are in Kelvin, so this corresponds to 20 degrees Celsius. Then we initialize the controller and define two empty lists, one to save the observed inner temperatures and one for the outer temperatures. We get the current states of the model by using the getOutput method. After this, we are ready for the actual control loop. So we define our control input using the getU method of the controller. And as inputs, we have the set point temperature and the current room temperature. Then we define the input to the simulation model as a dictionary with the uh, name of the input as a key and a list of the just computed input as a value. The control is applied using the step method and afterwards we observe the room temperature and the outer temperature. We can also think of more sophisticated control strategies that for example incorporate weather forecasts to get such a forecast, we simply use the getForecast method and specify the length. Here the output is a dictionary with values for the outer temperatures and the irradiance. To evaluate the performance of the controller, we can have a look at the KPIs with the getKPI method. Here we have one for the average heat pump power one for the average temperature deviation from a desired interval, and one for the total number of violations of this interval. As a last step, we can plot the indoor and outer temperatures over this one week. We can see that the controller keeps the temperature relatively constant while the outer temperature increases over the course of this one week. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you and see you in the next one.